let's start out with the quote. Clarissa Shields at this point, it is undeniable that she is the best fighter right now, right? You want to debate the quote? I don't think I can debate it no more, but you want to go back and Ali and Anna Wolf, I'm not going to knock you, right? But when you're saying who is the pound for pound best female fighter right now, that's Clarissa Shields, hands down. And I respect the ladies that are on the pound for pound for them. I have a tremendous amount of respect for Katie Taylor. I think she can fight. I think Amanda Serrano pushed Katie to a point where Katie was going to either have to figure something out and get the win or fold up. Because Amanda Serrano was on her A. She was on her butt. And Katie came back, right? And I'm not knocking Katie. I think Katie's a damn good fighter. And she deserved the respect that she is getting. But when people, what I like to say, they give the low Machinko treatment, when you push somebody higher than what they are, when you're saying that right now, Katie, is she's the best. She's number one. I'm not, and, and I don't want to take nothing out on Katie because she's good. But that to me, that's a slap in the face of Clarissa Shields. Clarissa Shields has cleared out three divisions. Cleared out. It's like she's going into a party and turn the lights on and say, everybody get out. Get out. And the head honchos that was there, they had something to say about it. She cleared them out. Then she went to another division. Then she went to another division. And she cleaned house, vacated premises of anybody in there. Nobody occupied it. She's the only one. She is the Highlander of boxing right now. Clarissa Shields is the one. There can only be one, and that's her. If you have anybody ranked over Clarissa, I'm honest, I, you're racist. You're racist, this politics, because if, what more can she do? At this point, you're trying to say that there's almost nothing that she can do that you're going to put, not give her that number one spot. Tell me, what if, if you're listening to this and Clarissa Shields is not ranked number one in your eyes, I want to ask you, what can she do to become number one? See, when you have a job and you want to be a manager, they tell you what you need to do to be a manager. You want to be a director, they tell you what you need to do. You want to be a senior, they tell you what you need to do to accomplish those goals. So I want to ask you, what goals out there that she has to accomplish for you to make her number one. She has cleared out three divisions. That's three different weight classes. That is dropping and gaining weight. That alone, majority of time, that affects a person's body. That affects a person's performance. And Clarissa Shields, she has done it time after time. And now she went up and faced the only person to ever get a win against her in the ring. That's Savannah Marshall. And Savannah Marshall came game. Savannah Marshall had that don't back down mentality. And you know what? I love that Savannah Marshall had that mentality. Because that made for a great fight. That made Clarissa have to fight damn near on the ropes for most of it. But she switched it up, right? Sometimes she'd be on the ropes. Sometimes she come off the ropes. Sometimes she would counter. Sometimes she attack. And she had to do it all 12 rounds. And no matter how many times she hit Savannah, Savannah didn't go nowhere. No, we're not going to take it. We're not going to take it anymore. She didn't go nowhere. But she was buzzed. And then there was times that I thought Clarissa was looking maybe a little fatigued or caught with some big shots. Clarissa said that she got hit with a shot in her right eye around the fifth round and it pretty much impaired her vision in that eye for about a round and a half or two rounds. These two ladies, <laughs> these two ladies represented. I'm not taking nothing for Savannah because we needed what she did. And we needed what Clarissa did. But I, listen, you, you, you want to know how you know you're to grow up is when Savannah after the fight, admit it on camera, in the mic, that Clarissa, who just got the victory. Now, guys, 
let's move on to Devin Haney and George Kimball.